Hang on, Je Jeremy, we've only got a few minutes. Yes, there. yes, listen, come over here. Because what we have here is a table laid for two, OK? Yes. And I'm going to remove this tablecloth without knocking anything over. Where are you going with this? Everybody stand back behind me, because you need to be quick well, to do this. <laughs> Bikes are faster than a table or something. That's got to be anything. Went rather well. Better than I'd expected, if I'm honest. <laughs> anyway, the thing is, BMW once did that trick with a much larger table, as I shall now demonstrate with this bit of film. <laughs> Motorbike. Yeah. But what I'm going to do now is that exact same thing, only with a car. Um, you are aware, aren't you, that a superbike accelerates very fast? Yes, Hammond, from, say, 10 to 150. But to do that, you need the instant acceleration. It's 0 to 10 that matters. Now, that is a very good point, because it's very difficult to get a bike off the line. Yeah, all right, I'll admit you usually spin the wheel or it flips over backwards. You see, cars don't flip over backwards. It's one of the many reasons <laughs> yes. why they're better. And the car I've selected is this one. A Datsun. A Nissan <laughs> GTR. No, I approve of your choice of car, actually, I have to say. Yeah, because uh, May and I were playing with one of these the other day, and the way it sets off is simply unbelievable. I mean, Damn. it really is. There's no car I've ever driven that no. goes from 0 to 10 faster. I mean, it's got four-wheel drive and amazing launch control system, so you put your foot hard down the accelerator, hard on the brake, take your foot off the brake, computer does everything and you set off. Mm. OK, and this is the table, yeah? Yes, it is. So let's get this straight. You are going to pull this tablecloth off this, what, 18-foot table? Yes. Using this Datsun. Listen. Without breaking anything. Without knocking a single thing over. Really? Yes. The words stand and back spring to mind. <laughs> you of little faith, OK? I'm using the same length of rope that BMW did, same amount of slack that they did. We're pulling from the same place that they did. Everything is the... What? Have you actually measured this out? A bit. You've got to go 18 feet to get the tablecloth off the table, yep. plus the length of that bit off the end. Yes. Plus you've got to account yes. for the amount of, of rope, and you've got to stop before you hit the other side of the studio. No, I haven't. Yeah, I have. I haven't, because I'm not going to drive it. He is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Stig has come among us. <laughs> Very rarely in the studio. <laughs> Hold on Very a minute. Very rarely. Hold on a minute. Yes, what? So, you're saying... He's going to drive across our darkened studio, peering through his darkened visor. Yes. Is this how this stig dies? <laughs> <laughs> Has he done a book? No, he hasn't. Right. All right. <laughs> right, is he ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Everybody here ready? Yeah! Oh, God. We have no idea how this is going to work out. But I have hope in my heart. In three, two, one, go! Well, well, that was mostly incredibly successful. Really? How, in what way? You didn't hit the wall, as you can see. And everything else has hit the floor. <laughs> this <laughs> to fit the There's a whole cup and saucer, not damaged. It didn't work. It, did... <laughs> it is most odd. Actually. Can we see a replay of that? And maybe work out what went wrong. Oh, there's the problem. What? He's doing it too slowly. No, that's in slow motion, you... Well, if he hadn't have done it in slow motion, it would have worked. <laughs> right, yeah, that. But now, look. It's a disaster. It's a bombshell. <laughs> and that means we can end. Mm. Thank you ever so much for watching. We'll see you next week.